All right, guys. Um, how to start this? So a lot has happened over the last few weeks that has really been quite demoralizing, and so it's kind of difficult to get it out. I was gonna keep a lot of this to just myself and my family, as I'm not a fan of airing out dirty laundry to the public. However, this really does involve all of you as a community, as a whole, so here we are. I have been completely backed into a corner here, and at this point, my family's only means of income is by those that support us by visiting only tactical fans at Shopify.com. But now that's even in their crosshairs, so I'm concerned that that may be removed as well. Since this is a story about a chain of events, I'll back this train the hell up and start at the beginning. So the attack, as we'll call it, it started sometime around the end of last year. I logged on to YouTube and noticed that every single video that had over a million views, or a very high amount, um, has been deleted overnight. Now it's difficult to explain in a short time how the mechanics of a YouTube channel works, so I'll just assure that it was crumpling. It dropped by 80%, like what the fuck? Why the fuck? That alone isn't all that alarming because this channel constantly has videos deleting by YouTube. So since they don't give an explanation, we still don't understand why to this day. The other alarming thing is that all those videos were years old and had been approved for monetization. Okay, so moving forward to about a month ago, YouTube hit me again by deleting a pile of videos. This is locally known as demonetization, like the actual videos, you don't make anything off of it. Now, I'm not sure of the exact amount. However, it was shocking to see all the little yellow dollar signs on what happened or on what had been appeared to be almost every single video. So at that point, I started to go through the only relief YouTube has to offer in circumstances like these. I appealed the decision. Now, some of them got remonetized, but most did not. Again, this wasn't all that alarming because like I said, this stuff seems to happen on this channel and is actually one of the reasons only tactical fans even exist. So let me explain what I mean. When making videos for YouTube, a person has the potential to make money. Now, this isn't a constant or necessary reliable stream of income by nature. Add to that any political theater, but what is constant is the incline and decline of the flow of the money, the ups and downs in monetization. So my husband created Only Tactical Fans as a way to have a more steady and sustainable stream of income. Now this is being more or less having degree of separation from the content from YouTube videos themselves. Only Tactical Fans shouldn't be affected by this political theater, but I mean, we're talking about clothing, patches, Soon to be stickers, but I mean, who knows? I mean, you never know what to expect. However, on January 30th of 2024, this year, I received an email from my husband's PayPal stating that they were no longer going to process payments and I am permanently limited, which is banned, unlike YouTube. However, they gave a reason as to why. And that was to say that all the tactical fans was selling firearms and ammunition. Which, to make clear to you all, as I attempted to make clear to PayPal, never have there been sold firearms, ammo, firearm parts, accessories, using that PayPal account. No PayPal account. So I emailed them to try to get a further explanation as to how they came to that conclusion, because it's a clear mistake. My husband had this PayPal account since 2013, I got the sound of crickets chirping for a response for a very long time. Then all of a sudden, I just got a message basically saying, it's final, that's it. Uh, so there was no other explanation, just that it's done, it's final. It, it remains banned. Now, this is when it really became alarming because this is a huge problem for only technical fans and our income. One reason is because quite a few viewers were kind enough to have scheduled donations set up using the PayPal account that is now affected. Those that choose to continue, which not all did, were put to an extreme and unwarranted inconvenience. Also, you wouldn't believe the online shopping community that util utilizes PayPal as a payment platform. The day only Tactic Fans PayPal account was canceled, our sales dropped by like 80%. 
What I used to make in a day at Only Technical Fans, I now make in about a week. So due to the fact that what we thought was clearly a mistake, we thought this would be fixed, if not sooner than later. Until then, I just used my PayPal to keep things going until the fix. Unfortunately, that account didn't even last like 24 hours, 48 hours, something like that. About like after three uh, process payments, it was two canceled and permanently limited, banned, for copyright material and yada yada, etc. I posted it in the other video. Again, I was like, what the fuck? So to explain this a little bit, anytime a portion of copyrighted material is to be used legally, one must get permission by of like the signing of rights or obtain license for the material, which we have licenses for all of our stuff. We own it. Now, every time my husband used an artist, this is the process he went through. And there is proof by documentation to back it up. These documents are signed by my husband and the artist or authorized representative and a witness. Okay, so that brings us up to the explanations. However, Dark, as you, some of you may know as DLD After Dark on YouTube, um, called me or sent me a, a text saying, hey, did your channel get demonetized? And I'm like, because I guess a lot of people that um, are subscribers or channel members are saying that their stuff was canceled or unpaused. And I was like, what? What are they talking about? Like, that doesn't make sense. Because I just had looked, I just put out the video, I'm under attack, and an hour and something later I checked, I got an email saying that all my stuff is paused. So theoretically demonetized. Now my first thought was that it's a Thursday night and what is this dude shit face? But then another one popped up claiming the same. Yes, there was a chance that both of these people were at the same party, but I started to get nervous and decided to check out the channel. And well, what do you know? All the dollar signs were once gone, nothing. It's like a little circle thing. Now, if you remember last year when my husband was visibly in front of the camera, you, back then YouTube does demonetization differently now. It's no longer 30 days pause button. When your 30 days is over, you get the money you earn and you can get back all that working money. Now, it's 90 days and they confiscate all the money, except I did get paid from January's payment for um, this month, but I probably will not receive February's payment in who knows how long. I mean, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to come back. I might be permanently banned, I don't know. Now, I assume because I got paid for what I made in January for February, because that's how it works, um, I assume it's because it was already processed to enter in my account. But otherwise, yeah, you never get your money back. They always hold it and give you it back. Or like last time with my husband, they kept it. It was like $6,000. He's never received it till this day. Now, I don't know about you, but when you work a 9 to 5 or any job at all, if you're getting a, t a W-2 or a 1099, that's money you've made, that's illegal just to steal someone's money. Anyway, so now we will add on the 90 days and stuff, 30 days, to the last paycheck that I received on February 21st. Moves us into May. I should hopefully start earning again around May 21st if I get re-monetized. Uh, that period will end around like June 21st for me to get paid around July 21st. Uh, that's essentially half a year without that source of income. A six month hit for no reason, no real explanation, no proof. So that brings us up to speed into what is going on. Again, I'm sorry to burden you all with my woes, but I feel like some explanation as to why some of the confusion events have taken place. And like I said, you all helped to support us, and so you deserve the knowledge. I really would like to thank everyone that's been supporting me and my family through like Only Tactical Fans, Cash App, and Give Sun Go. I understand how sometimes it's been inconvenient and confusing, and that you all are really going out of your way to show us um, support to us. And while I'm being an open book today about my troubles, I'm also going to be open about how that support is at times really emotionally overwhelming when I sit and think about all of your kindness. Um, so thank you all for that. Um, stay tuned for the next video because I found out who's attacking me and my girls. Um, yeah, it's not okay. So until next video guys.